stabbed the spinal cord vertebrae, which caused a broken hip and also a broken spinal cord? Objection, Your Honor. Ask Jen Anderson. Sustained. <laughs> <laughs> observing these weapons at the scene of the crime, being a forensic scientist, you mainly work at the scene of the crime with fingerprints, footprints, weapons used, and again, there was no blood found from the grave that, as you stated... Objection, Your Honor, ask Jen Anderson. No, 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 I'm overruled, sorry, but you get a little, little argumentative, you know, you're not asking me questions, you ask them for me, yeah. Arguments. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I spend my time? Dr. Trudy, you may step down. Don't you down. Show them all. Throw it out. All right. Prosecution, do you have any further witnesses to call? No, you're right. Would you like to rest your case? Good. Defense, you can call your first witness to the stand. Can I just louder?
beginning of the novel when we meet, or this is how you have to read. Um, you, you, were, you got into a fight, and then William came up to you, and he said, part fool, you know not what you, put up your sword, you know not what you do. Um, calling you a fool. So does Ben William normally call you a fool? Actually, all the argument So does Ben William, does he make you feel bad about yourself? No. No? Okay, so do you like your job? Yes. You like your job a lot. Could, would you say you love your job? Just a lot of relevant rules. You love your job. So so is it easy to get other jobs in Vermont? I would not. I've had jobs doing mostly my life as a kid. So Never would you time. expect yourself to continue having this job until you die anyway? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you do anything to keep this job because you love it so much? Thank you. You can sit down. Ben should call your next witness to the stand. <laughs> My name is Mikhail Lady, and being PhD corner in the main medical examiner of this investigation. I obtained my Bachelor of Science at Stanford University. Doctor of Medicine from John Hopkins University and my residency from Wakefield. I've been a homicide and medical examiner for 10 years and I've been recently to the board by the CIA. Are these copies of your degrees? Um, yes, sir. Your Honor, we are representing the doctor. These sounds are qualified, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much power do you have over these investigations? Well, I control and supervise most forensic tests and operations. So this visual contains a diagram of the victim's chest with a necktie. Bangle. Bangle holds his breath. Just in case the rain touched the touch, cause the 
start out by taking an x-ray. Because it's in the x-ray. No broken bones were found in the spinal cord in the home. We then took out the blood and the plasma from the blood sample and tested the remains for toxins. No toxins were found. We ruled that suffocation was the first cause of significant long and brain damage to the neck. As the guys read, Unfortunately for the victim, this artery has blood under fairly high pressure. Any damage to it would cause the blood to gush out at very high speed, leading to extreme blood loss. Um, the murder weapon also punctured some of the membranes surrounding the lungs, which caused tears. Enough to impair breathing, but not enough to enter the um, The murder weapon basically punctured the blisters of her cages. See here, there's a giant decrease here about one minute after the injury. That means the heart must have stopped one minute after the injury. Because that decrease took place. And they stopped completely here at zero, meaning the brain must have shut down and make an injury here again. We also found some clues on your pulse. In Tipple's side pocket, we found a clean rag of blood on it. The first suspected is the victim was wearing there were antibody rags. Thank you. Prosecution, you have questions for this witness? So, Thank <laughs> you. 